been so focused on getting packed and ready to leave for Alaska that my house has literally suffered. We have just been so busy and on the go that I am just literally behind on everything. Street isn't excruciating bad, but I definitely have a little bit to catch up on. I leave in three days to go to Alaska. My husband is staying here with four of our kids by himself. So my goal is to get the house kind of reset for him so he has a fresh base. So let's get it cleaned up. You already know if I have to suffer through housework, then I'm gonna have a book in my ears. Not listening to music, I'm listening to romance. I'm listening to fantasy worlds that help me escape from the current one that I'm in because I hate doing laundry. I recently just learned what a gummy bear mom is. First of all, it's so stupid and crazy and silly that we're putting labels on mothers. But I mean, I guess that's just 2024. But you've heard of the crunchy mom. You've heard of the almond mom. Well, apparently the gummy bear mom is the mom that lets their kids eat processed foods. The moms that let their kids have an occasional soda. The moms that aren't reading labels on everything and watching dyes and all that kind of stuff but as funny as it is i kind of like to think of myself maybe somewhere in between like i'm definitely no crunchy mom like i we obviously have our fair share of processed foods but at the same time like i am conscious of ingredients as much as i can be um or much as much as i, I try like i try i could do better I'm conscious of them sometimes. I'm selective. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm right there in between. Like, I know there are things that are not great for my kids, but I also know that at some point, if I can, there's only so many battles that I can fight during the day, especially with my son who has allergies and who's just a picky toddler. If I was that hardcore and disciplined about things that he ate, he, he he wouldn't eat you some people say like they will eat when they're hungry no he won't my four-year-old will literally go without before he'll eat something that he doesn't want to eat i think some of it comes from trauma because he's had severe allergic reactions to some foods where he's ended up in the hospital so i do think he has some fear of his allergies and it's something that we're working on so no, I don't like these labels. I think they're dumb. But when I heard the term gummy bear mom, I'm like, oh, well, I guess that's me. If I gotta have a label, then sign me up. I'm the gummy bear mom. Not perfect, but Marcus is home. He's cleaning up son. And I gotta get dinner going. 